Hi folks, G3 here, and welcome to another installment of my journey to go green. In today's episode, I'm going to be going to pick up my new EV, the Tesla Model S. So when we get there, we'll have a look around the car and um, see what it's all about. Well folks, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy it, then please remember to click the like button. And also, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you get notified when I load up a new video. Right, let's get on with the video. Hello, I've got to point my Tesla. Where are we, darling? Uh, we are now at Tesla in Dartford um, at the sales and service center. Ready to pick up. We are a little bit late. About 25 minutes late. Um, what made me late? I couldn't find my driving license because I, uh, yeah, it's usually in my wallet. It wasn't there. And yeah, we had a bit of a hurried look around to try and find it. And fortunately, Mrs. G3 found it and it was in the scanner because I needed to scan it for them. So yeah, let's get in there. Hi, folks. So here we are at Tesla Dartford and um, come to pick up the Tesla Model S, which I told you about. So um, here we are nice nice red tesla model s 85 it's a 2015 in um nice condition it's done about 70,000 miles got a couple of little marks down the bottom i think somebody's probably had a uh a cycle rack or something on there so they're going to be um looking at that for us but it seems in really good condition. It's an incredibly cold day here. Not the uh, best of days to be looking around a, uh, a car. But there we go. This is the, the new EV, Tesla Model S. Going to be taking uh, Mrs. G3 for a little, um, a little spin around a couple of these roundabouts just so we can get used to it. We've used, I think we've used about two miles of range so far just since i've been here with the heating going on it's uh, definitely needed um, you're just adjusting working out how to adjust your seat yeah and i turn my heat to seat oh i see okay um oh thank you very much yeah well if that's if the if there's heated seats on then we can uh reduce the um reduce the overall temperature there so I'm going to need to get a few things adjusted, work out um, seat position, driving position, get mirrors and everything sorted. Obviously at the current times, um, we've got some, some wipes. I mean, they were very good with the, the gloves that he had on and, and taking care of it, but obviously we've got to be a bit, um, a bit careful. Um, and I shall also do my hands in a moment before, um, before going. Hello, Tesla haven't got the uh, makeup light for me. No, there's no light in there. That's poor. I like the mirrors, you know. How does that work? I don't know what this pump is doing. Oh, oh, that's lumbar support. Oh, I can feel that. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. wow. Oh, yeah. wow. Selfie now. Okay, let's uh, go. Let's see how it is. Got your bag? Yep. Felt, bag, car key, everything. Okay. Woohoo! Now enter the roundabout and take the first exit. Very nice. Smooth. It's 
So on the display, I can see that car. I can see the lines. This car is just about to come past as well, I'd imagine. Yeah, it's just coming across there. We're just taking it for a little um, initial spin, so Mrs. G3 gets a, uh, the um, take the fourth a feel for the car. So it's quite a big car, so I've got to get used to the now size. Now enter the roundabout yeah. and take the fourth exit. So Satnav is very keen for me to uh, oh, oh. to go back, but. Um, <laughs> So we're just going to take in a short little stretch. In 1,000 feet, enter the roundabout and take the second exit. Is it quite tight braking? Or I'm, I haven't pressed the brakes yet. I mean, what we've got is the regenerative on the moment. So now enter the roundabout and take the second that exit. That was without pressing the brake. That was just purely from regenerative braking, getting um, some energy back into the battery. I like it. What happened with the pan brake, darling? It's on the end here, darling. The oh. So no brake used at all there. That was just purely the um, regenerative braking. And there, I've just pressed the brake, and if you want to park, then there would be a case of pressing the parking brake. Shit. In 500 feet, enter the roundabout and take the fourth exit. It's got good brakes. I was hoping just to touch it. And brake. Oh, I've got a shift into drive. Oh, wow. Good. Now, test of reversing. Now turn phone. right onto Capstan Court. I know it's no enter, but it's me. Now turn left onto Anchor Boulevard. Dinky little sun visors on these. I couldn't see your brake light. I haven't braked, darling. Oh, yeah. I that still haven't braked. That's the regenerative braking that's done that. So it's telling me it's 60 at the moment, so it can't recognise the overhead gantry speed. Nice car, baby. Well done. Yeah, you think it's all right?
want this door break time to go on. You, you see them go on? Like, you know, yeah, yeah well, like a chore. If I stop accelerating, Adam? if I stop accelerating, the regenerative braking comes on to um, ah. to recharge the battery from the braking it's doing. And at that point, it will just okay. put the lights on as, as if I'm braking. Yeah. But in fact, you didn't brake at all. Not physically braking, no, I'm not pressing the brake pedal. Yeah. it was nice yeah I mean they've got the, the blue was quite nice as well but I think red's a, a good yeah. I mean people see it More yeah I mean yeah. I've, I've had a couple of red cars the last sports car two, actually the last two sports cars I've had have been red got a chicken in here. <laughs> Do you know what? I just moved my hand down to change gear. <laughs> I'm so used to doing it. Thank you. 
Barking brake on. Where are we, baby? Um, we are now on the Jubilee Way, which is the approach road to Dover Docks. So we're coming down to Dover for the ferry terminal. We can see a few boats in the English Channel, and then we'll be able to see the ferries going to and fro there as well. Because we are going downhill, it's <laughs> there's loads of regenerative braking going on. Um, there's a a lot of green, which is positive, showing us uh, the energy is going back into the battery. That's right, yeah. So, if we've got off the uh, accelerator, we see it's really, uh, really using it to slow down and uh, put that power into the battery. And the view! There we go, we're approaching the docks. Very loading up at the moment. Oh, I like that cruise with the Mickey Mouse on yes, it. Yes, Disney cruise ship over Disney there. Cruise. I guess they're not doing a whole lot of cruising at the moment. Big boat. I can see. I can see my office over the White Cliff of Dover. Mm. E with the motorbike love he's not gonna stop for you oh shit you okay we go all orange by then um you talking about the up and down or are you yeah, talking about the, the car K -K -W, K -W um, area there, there, there. yeah yeah i mean green is is recharging so there's a big period of recharging there because that's when we were going down um, Jubilee Way. The orange is when it's actually using power, which it should do because we're driving along. Ah, I see. So it's just using a small amount of power at the moment. Here we go. There's a Aaron Costco, he came out. Oh, right. With a gift there, look. Yeah. Now, another uh, YouTuber, but he's slightly more famous than me. So we have quite a bit of fun parking around here on occasion. So there's lots of parking on this hill because that's the available space. Mm. Would you fit behind that red perch all up? It's probably not bad to shout actually. I'm going to leave her here because you can't do anything with that car parked on the yellow light really. No. It's probably not bad to shout mm. because then Cars coming up are going to be going past. One's coming down, we'll be able to sort of stay out of the way. Yeah. Parking brake. Yeah. And then okay. the steering will lift up for you to get out. Yeah. Properly. A little way down the hill, couldn't get um, space up by the house as I expected. It's going to be fun trying to find it. At least we managed to find a spot where we could get off the road a bit, so it should be okay for the cars going up and down. But um, this is this is a new 
there's the model S, quite new to us, it's five years old. Uh, we're going to have to think of a name for it. It seems a uh, very nice, very comfortable car. We've got a fan going down there because we've only just ch gone and charged it, so it's giving it a good good cool, I guess, from where we were doing the charging. Probably got a little bit toasty. There we go. Very nice. Unfortunately, we found yeah, two we've got, we've got a couple, of, there. couple of little scuffs on the bottom here. It looks to me like um, it's from when somebody's had a bike carrier on there, that kind of thing, uh, needed a support on there. That's what I think. Mm. Um, we have an impression from Tesla that yeah. we have to take a photo and send it through the uh, via the app. Take photos now. It's well reminded so that we've got some idea of the... Yep, against the number plate. Yeah, That's yeah, it. Yeah. So that they can see those and we'll send those off and hopefully they'll do something about that. Cause ordinary bits and pieces, knocks and tears you, you expect, but it didn't make any mention of that. Uh, you know, you should really. So that's it folks, thanks for watching, we'll catch up with you soon, bye!